Hello everyone. Today we will cover our file transfer feature on our CMT3072. This feature allows you to transfer files from any CMT model to your PC. For this project, we are going to be using an FTP server to connect with our HMI. I am using FileZilla and have linked it to a folder on my desktop as seen right here. Jumping into our EasyBuilder Pro project, I am going to create a simple combo button and assign our file transfer feature to the first node. Opening file transfer will allow us to see three tabs, General, File, and Status. On the General tab, we can configure our combo button to connect with our FTP server when pressed. To do this, we insert the IP of our local PC, the username of our FTP server, and the password. It's important to remember that the port number will remain the same. On the File tab, we can set the file paths for both the HMI and FTP server. For now, I will select the address function on both the HMI and FTP, and set the numbers to 100 and 120 respectively. It's important to remember to set the registers at least 20 numbers apart. Because they read 20 words, they can cause issues if they are left overlapping. Finally, on our status page, we are able to select ways of monitoring our file transfer. This is completely optional, but will help us if we need to troubleshoot. For this example, however, I've chosen percentage because it will give us the best indication of when our file transfer is complete. Now that we have properly set up our combo button for the FTP to HMI transfer, we will need to create an HMI to FTP combo button. This can be done by simply copying the combo button we have just finished and going into the settings and selecting HMI to FTP. After closing out of the combo button, we will need to place our file browser. I'm going to enable the folder plus file name option and set it to our previously determined HMI path on the combo button. I've shown this on the left hand side so that you may find it on your own project. Now that we have finished our file browser, we can place it anywhere we want on our HMI's project and begin working on the ASCII and numeric objects. For both of our ASCII objects, we need to set them to 20 word objects. and set the addresses to 100 and 120 for the HMI and FTP path. Next, for the numeric objects that I have to place, these numbers will be coming from our status tab on our file transfer settings. I've shown a reference for where to find your addresses on the right hand side. For me, these numbers will be 20, 21, and 22. At this point, the EasyBuilder project is complete. However, before we can test this feature on our CMT, we will configure Windows Firewall to allow FTP connections. To do this, we will need to open our Windows Defender Firewall and select Advanced Settings. Right click on Inbound Rules and select New Rule. Hit Next when Program is selected and navigate to the Program Path for your FTP server executable. My file transfer was successful after creating an exception for the FileZilla server interface. But the exceptions necessary depend on your FTP application. After selecting the executable, you can simply hit Next until it brings you to the naming screen 
or you can enter any FTP name and hit finish. Next, we will create a new rule so that our port numbers have a pass through. We will select the port option, second from the top, and hit next. On this screen, we want to verify that TCP is selected and enter the data channel port 20 and the control port 21. Verify that allow connection is selected and name and finish our new rule. Now that we have completed our Easy Builder Pro project and set up the proper exceptions within our firewall, we can begin testing our project. On our Easy Builder project, I have gone ahead and labeled all the objects for the sake of clarity, but haven't changed any of their functions or their orientation. On this testing workbench, the left side of my screen is showing a live display of the CMT3072 through VNC Viewer while the right side is going to be showing our folder connected to our FTP server. On this CMT project, I'm going to be showing off our FTP to HMI button first by entering the file that we want to transfer into FTP path and what we want it to be named into our HMI path. After selecting our FTP to HMI combo button, you can see that the file appears here in our file browser. I will next be showing off our HMI to FTP path by replacing macro.pdf with macros.pdf and deleting the file from our original folder. After selecting our HMI to FTP combo button, we can see macros.pdf appear in our folder. We have now successfully sent the same file to our HMI and back into the original folder. Another feature that we have recently introduced to EasyBuilder Pro is the ability to use wildcards in the form of asterisks or question marks. Question marks will represent one character while asterisks represent zero or more characters. For example, if we are trying to call the same file macro.pdf, we can write it as mac question question or ma asterisk. This is the last transfer I will demonstrate, and I will start by entering te asterisk for our FTP path and test for the name of our folder. After selecting our FTP to HMI button, you can see it did not transfer the files directly into our HMI, but rather into a folder on the file browser. Upon selecting this folder, we can see it has successfully transferred all files that matched our description TE asterisk. Thank you for watching, and for more information, visit wintechusa.com.